Good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to our new student junior orientation here at the senior high school. We are absolutely thrilled to welcome some of our newest family members to our Nash School community. Um, on behalf of the senior high school, my name is Dr. Durda. I am the principal here at the senior high school. And just seeing some of our new faces and some of our returning seniors that are joining us here this afternoon gets us so very excited for the upcoming school year. The orientation program itself is really an opportunity for us to welcome our new students to our school, to tour our Nash School campus, and to really give you a glimpse of what we are all about here at the senior high school. We really look at Nash as an 11th and 12th grade building as being kind of the culmination of what you have been working towards throughout your entire academic, athletic, extracurricular careers. Myself, Mr. Selipek, who is joining us here this afternoon for a few minutes, he has some meetings that he has to attend to this afternoon. But on behalf of our entire school community, we are absolutely thrilled to welcome you to Nash. As you guys were walking in this afternoon, there were some pictures that are up on the screen. And for those of you that know me and know Mr. Sal, you know that we like to start a lot of our presentations with pictures of the why behind what we are here to do. And there's a deep intentionality behind the pictures that we chose as well. Because at the senior high school, our goal is to make sure that each and every student has the best possible experience as they're getting ready to make a huge decision at the end of their senior year on what's next, what comes next. So I want all of you to take a minute to look at the pictures in front of you. There are so many opportunities that we are able to offer here at the senior high school at North Allegheny to help you to get involved, to help you to get connected, and to help you to have an amazing experience here with us. So again, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We look forward to spending about 20 to 25 minutes in the auditorium, and then we are gonna break into small groups we have some seniors that have given up their time over the summer to tour the campus. Thankfully, the weather outside is beautiful. So you'll have an opportunity to get a snapshot on who we are at Nash. You'll see our school campus, and you'll have the opportunity to ask any questions that you have, both of myself and of the senior student leaders that will be touring you this afternoon. So at this time, I want to introduce Mr. Salapak, who is one of our assistant principals here at the senior high school. He'd like to share a few words with all of you. Thank you, Dr. Derda. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Good, good. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. I am super excited to be able to be here for just a few minutes. I didn't think I would get to see you at all today. I'm actually in a training um, a two-day training. I'm up in my office. It's on Zoom. I feel like I'm back to what we did a couple years ago on Zoom all day long. Um, but I'm so thankful I had a chance to stop in and see you all. How many of you are nervous? I'm raising my hand because I'm nervous to be up here in front of you right now. I have those butterflies in my, in my stomach. Like, the, the school year is here. You know, I feel like not that long ago we were delivering this message last year, and I can't believe it's already come a full calendar to be back at this point. But it's super exciting to see and feel your energy as you are coming in, to see the smiles on your faces, to see you reuniting with some of your friends that maybe you haven't seen in a while. But then also that little bit of nervousness and anxiousness of, hey, this is a, this is a big deal, right? We're entering in, into a new school. We're entering into a new building. What are the expectations? What's it going to be like? Am I going to be all right? Am I going to make it? I want to let you know we are here for each and every one of you. Each and every one of you that's here today, you matter to us, okay? Whatever you wanna do, whatever you wanna be a part of, 
wherever you want to go, you're going to be able to do that here at Nash, okay? We have a tremendous group of leaders that are with us today, student leaders, that you're going to have a chance to spend time with. They embody everything that North Allegheny is. They are everything that we want our students to learn and grow and become here at NA. So the students that you get to spend time with today, you're in great hands, all right? Enjoy your time with them. Ask them questions. Ask them the tough questions. Get anything out, right, that you're wondering or thinking about before you kick off this school year. But at the end, I want to leave you with each one of you is important to us, okay? If there's ever anything that you need to help you be successful, to help you feel good about coming to school, all right, to help you make connections with other students or with other adults or staff in the building, that's what we're here for. That's our job. I love coming to work every single day at NASH. I love the team that I get to work with every single day at NASH. And really, we're here for each and every one of you, all right? Thank you, guys. I appreciate the couple minutes. I wish you the very best this afternoon, and I can't wait to see you back in a short amount of time. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Salapak. Again, um, our principal team, I just wanted to make sure that your, our faces are in front of all of you. If you need anything as you start the new school year, um, as you continue through your journey, please know that the three of us and our entire faculty and staff here at the senior high school will be there for you every step of the way. Throughout your tours today, you will see where my office is, which is located right out of the auditorium, the main office. My office is right there. Mr. Walker will be starting the school year as a lead teacher here, serving as a kind of pseudo assistant principal for the seniors returning to us. He ended last school year in this capacity. He's also an English teacher here at the senior high school and our head football coach. But his office is located on the second floor. And Mr. Selipak, who you all just met, his office is located on the third floor. Um, before we continue on in the presentation, I do want to thank Mr. Tozier and Mr. Korolski, along with their student leaders, who are the reason why we could put this presentation together um, this afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Tozier, Mr. K, and all of the students helping with the presentation this afternoon. When we talk about what it means to be a student or a member of NASH, our identity and focus is what drives every single thing that I do, that Mr. Salapek, Mr. Walker does, that our teachers, staff do, and it should drive everything that you do. Last year, we had the opportunity to share our identity and focus with our staff and our students. That identity and focus is that my expectation as the principal of the senior high school is for every member of our school to do these two things each and every day. And I'm going to repeat that again now, and you're going to hear it throughout your experience here at the senior high school. My expectation as the principal at North Allegheny Senior High School as it, is that each one of us, every staff member and every student, deeply loves and cares for ourselves and one another while relentlessly pursuing excellence in all that we do. Every single day. And I promise you, when we do these two things every day, what we will build together will be absolutely beautiful in every way. You deserve that every single day. And it fires me up. It gets me excited. I want my own family to get to experience that every single day. And that's how I view all of you, all of our staff. I can't wait. This year, we're going to take this identity and focus a step further. 
My middle nephew is a junior in college. Let me give you a real quick story. Junior in college. College that he goes to has kind of like a, this is what we are. And when I went to visit him, he invited me to Parents Weekend because my sister and brother-in-law couldn't go. So he invited me to Parents Weekend, drove down to North Carolina. We're walking around the campus, and their identity and focus is like visually posted throughout the campus. I'll never forget it. This was last October. And I stopped, and I looked at him. I said, Brady, what is that? And he stopped dead in his tracks, and he said, Aunt Sis. He calls me Aunt Sis. Aunt Sis. That's what we believe in here at High Point. He goes to High Point. That's what we believe in here. And I looked at him and I said, okay, do you feel that though? And he stopped dead in his tracks and looked me right in my eyes and said, I feel it every single day. I feel it when I buy Chick-fil-A lunch in the commons. I feel it when I go to my intro to business class. I feel it when I go to a whatever, activity on campus. So we're taking this one step further in that it's my expectation that we all feel this every single day. So I'm going to be asking for feedback for you guys as you transition to Nash. And if you're not feeling that, I need to know that. Okay? We have gathered feedback from students that have transitioned to Nash and we wanted the feedback to be specifically, what do the students say? Like, what, what is some advice for you guys as you're coming to the senior high school? Like, this is the, you have arrived. You are at Nash now. Seniors, raise your hand, please. For our seniors, August 25th, different activity. August 21st is what? First day of school. What else? August 21st is your first day of school. What else is it? It's your last first day of school at North Allegheny ever. It's your last first day. Juniors, you have two more last first days. Make the most of that last first week that you have. Find your friends, ask your teachers questions, get involved. We are gonna have an activities fair throughout lunch periods that will showcase and highlight the activities, the organizations. And what I like to share is if you're interested in something and we don't have a club or organization that meets your interest, guess what our NASH students do? Those of you that are coming back to us, what do you guys do? If, I, if we don't have a club or organization that meets your interests, what do you do? You make one. You create it. The number of times that people have come to, Dr. Dirt, I have a great idea. If we don't have what you're interested in, you build it and you create it. And I promise you we will have the supports to help you along the way. Those first impressions, you can never get back. And I'm going to tell you, as I watched you guys walking into the auditorium today, what a beautiful first impression. What a beautiful first impression you guys made. Make sure whenever you join us on August 21st, when you meet your teachers, make a great first impression. We shared about the activities, clubs, organizations. Think about what you want to get involved in. And when we break out into the small group tours, ask the returning NASH students what they're involved in. See how we can connect it to things that you're interested in. Again, I shared that the main office is right outside the auditorium. Stop down at any time. The school counseling office is another office that you're going to be touring. That is another space in our school campus that you want to get familiar with early. Your school counselors are an unbelievable resource. During the first week of school, each one of you will have a grade level assembly where we're really going to go over kind of the day-to-day -day expectations. That's not what today is all about. But the first Friday 
um, that you guys return, we are gonna ask all of our students and staff to wear black and gold in support of North Allegheny. I did wanna make sure that I just showed you what the bell schedule is. For returning students, it's the same as last year, no changes to the bell schedule. Each period is 41 minutes long. You have nine periods throughout the day, and our lunches are during periods five, six, and seven. You do have four minutes in between classes. The upperclassmen will share the tips with you because four minutes can go by pretty quick if you're going from one side of the campus to the other. Um, work with your teachers, and again, we just wanted to make sure that we showed you the bell schedule. Before I transition to some upcoming events, Tomorrow night is a very big night because that is the night that we are releasing student schedules. Huge night. So your school counselors, your principals, your staff, we've been working very hard in getting student schedules completed. They will be emailed to all students around 6 p.m. tomorrow night. I do want to go over that process because some Individuals have reached out to me and said, Dr. Durda, I'm not getting emails from you or from the school. If you're not, I'm gonna, you'll see me around the cafeteria area throughout the, the afternoon. Please come find me if you are not getting emails. Okay, bell schedule we just showed, some upcoming, um, some upcoming events. Again, highly recommend getting involved in whatever it is that you're passionate about. I shared that tomorrow evening around 6 p.m. we will be releasing student schedules. That's for every single student in the district. So if you have a younger sibling in third grade, they will be receiving their schedule tomorrow evening as well. I get a lot of questions on, well, what if I wanna change my schedule? We did send an email out Monday of this week, two days ago, that shared how you would indicate if you needed a schedule change and how you could make that request. August 17th is your opportunity to walk through the building. We highly encourage um, students to come visit. Again, our principal team will be on site that evening, but that's the opportunity for you to walk your schedule. Following this orientation, we do have a safe driving presentation for any students that have their driver's license. We do require that you participate in one of the safe driving presentations. One's today, the last one will be August 18th. Again, the first day of school. Staff comes back next Tuesday and all of you will be returning Monday, August 21st for the first day of school. We cannot wait. For the seniors in the room, that following day, you will have a senior grade level assembly where we will explain, reiterate expectations, highlight and showcase what's gonna be coming up through your senior year. And the following day, the 23rd, will be for all junior students. For any students that are attending A.W. Beatty, that is our Votech school for students that are interested in different um, programs such as culinary, cosmetics, um, EMTs, welding, different programs of that nature. Their first day of school will be on August 22nd, and we will also be holding a meeting to bring all A.W. Beatty students together during the first week of school. We kick off the first week by our first home football game and first marching band performance. If you've never been to Newman Stadium before, I know we have a lot of band members that are with us today. It is absolutely electric. So we are thrilled to end the first week with our first home football game marching band performance. We hope that we see you guys there Friday night, August 25th. The other days are really just reminders to all of you. I'm not gonna go through all of those at this time, but this, this slideshow will be shared with all of you later on today, so you can reference that. Again, we shared our identity and focus here at the senior high school. We are looking forward to an absolutely unbelievable school year. 
before we break into small groups, are there any questions from any of you? If you do have questions, I will be in the vestibule area of the auditorium near the cafeteria. But before we break into our Nash campus tours, the reason that we are here is to make sure that all 1,347 students, which is how many we have at Nash, have a safe, supportive, exciting, unbelievable experience while you are here with us. If there is anything that I can do or our staff can do to help your transition to the senior high school go smoothly or more smoothly, please reach out to me at any time. You will frequently get emails from me with my email address. And again, my office is located right outside of the auditorium. Can our senior um, student leaders that are joining us here this afternoon for the campus tours at this time, please stand. And for the, if we can give them a round of applause for giving up time over the summer. At this time, I'm going to be breaking you guys into groups. The last portion of the orientation will be a tour throughout the Nash campus, which will be, this should conclude around 1 o'clock. So it is 1225 right now. Around 1 o'clock, the building tour should be concluded. Again, I will be in the cafeteria area for any questions that you may have. Welcome to Nash. I cannot wait to get to know you guys and enjoy the last week and a half of summer. I'm going to break you guys into small groups for your tours. If you can take this row and this row and that row of five, that's going to be your group. I'm going to have you guys take, thank you guys so much. Have fun. Have fun. Remember, tour guides, not everybody should start on the first floor. If I can have you guys with this group and that group, and I'm going to have you join that group, please and thank you. Have fun. Have fun. Thank you. You can go with them, too. I'm going to have you guys take this row and this group right here. Please and thank you. I'm going to have you two take this group right here. So if all of you can follow them, please and thank you.